You're listening to Puma Podcast. Hi, you're listening to Teka Teka News. But we're switching it up for today's episode. We're sharing a story from another Puma Podcast show, Go Hard Girls, hosted by Siege Tantenko. The show is a space for incredible yet underrated female athletes and for imagining a sports world that's better for women. Kung, for example, ang sinasahod mo lang sa national team, 11,000 or 12,000, tapos may tatlo kang anak, saan mo kukunin ng panggasos mo sa mga anak mo, pampaaral, pampangkain? So, kung bibigyan nila ng additional na suporta para dun sa mga ina, eh, magandang programa po yan. Especially sa mga single mother. I'm Siege Tantanko and you're listening to Go Hard Girls, where we tell stories of incredible yet underrated female athletes and imagine a sports world that's better for women. For our first episode of 2020, we share the story of Nesty Petesho, a world champion boxer and SEA Games gold medalist. In this episode, We'll continue to shine the spotlight on Filipina boxers, featuring a veteran athlete who inspires young stars like Nestle. At 32 years old, Josie Gabuco has been a fixture in Philippine boxing for the last 16 years, the first ever Filipina world champion in amateur boxing, the only boxer, male or female, in team history to win five straight SEA Games gold medals. That in itself is more than many athletes achieve in their lifetimes. But what's even more admirable is that Josie achieved all of these while being a single mom. Josie and Nesti are the only Filipinas to win the International Boxing Association or the AIBA World Boxing Championship. Fighting spirit takes many forms and at first glance, they couldn't be more different. Nesti has cropped hair and a loud voice. Josie wears her hair in a long ponytail and covers her mouth to giggle. Nesti is the aggressive upstart, Josie the seasoned veteran. But for all of their differences, their starting points were similar. Josie began boxing to help her family in Puerto Princesa, Palawan. Nag-start po ako nung 17 years old ako or 16 kasi uh, hirap po kami sa buhay so hindi ako makakapag-college. Tapos nung tito ko po, inalok ako, Jo, baka gusto mo mag-boxing. May free scholarship. And then, merong allowance, merong libreng tirahan. So, grab the opportunity na po. Pero nung time na yun, nasa athletics po ako. Pinapili ako kung mag-boxing ako or mag-athletics. So, pinili ko nung boxing. It started as a ticket to college, but soon after Josie put on her boxing gloves and stepped into the ring, it became so much more. Nung una po talaga, scholarship lang ang gusto ko. Pero nung time na nandito na po ako sa Baguio, may in love ako sa boxing. Kahit po walang training, nag-extra ako kasi gusto kong may, may improve sa akin. Iniisip ko nung time na yun, gusto kong mag-improve, gusto kong may marating, gusto kong may maabot. In 2004, Josie joined the National Open, where the best amateur boxers in the Philippines get to showcase their skills. She won the gold and earned a slot in the national team. From there, she aimed higher and dreamed bigger. She was a promising young boxer full of potential. But all of a sudden, her career was put on ice. Next stop po ako, 2005 or 2006, nabuntis po ako ng anak po ako. Hindi ko na in-expect na makakabalik ako dito sa team. Parang tatanggapin pa ba ako. Kaya nung binigyan ako ng second chance ng ABAP, talagang sinabi ko sa sarili ko na hindi ko sasayangin ng pagkakataon na binigay nila sa akin. Yun ang isa sa mga motivation na tinitignan ko. Returning to training drained her. More than the struggle of regaining her form, the struggle of being a single mom was the bigger challenge. Josie had family in Laguna, and so that she could return to training in Manila and Baguio, she asked them to help take care of her son, Mac Joseph. Challenge na hinarap ko talaga nung first time ko mahiwalay sa baby ko kasi lagi ko nga siyang kasama. Tapos 
biglang bumalik ako dito. So, nung mga unang araw, unang linggo, medyo nahihirapan ako, umiiyak ako. Iniisip ko na lang lagi na kung ano nung ginagawa ko para sa kanya, para sa future niya. At sigurado naman akong pagdating ng araw, may intindihan niya kung bakit ginawa ko lahat yun. Josie split her time between Manila and Baguio for training and Laguna to raise her son. Compared to being a single mom, Josie says getting back in fighting form was the easy part. Hindi siya masyado naging issue. Positive lang po kasi ako mag-isip eh. Walang mahirap kung gugustuhin mo talaga. Tsaka lalo na kung mahal mo nung ginagawa mo. Sinasabi ng anak ko na gusto niya mag-boxing, gusto niya maging kagaya ko. Kaya lang ako bilang nanay, syempre naranasan ko kung gano'ng kahirap. Ayoko kasi na maranasan niya nung sakit na nararanasan ko ngayon. Nung tipong masusunto ka, tapos meron ka mga gustong kainin na hindi mo pwedeng kainin, nung mga ganun. Parang sa akin kasi, kaya nga ako nagtatrabaho para sa iyo, para maging maayos nung sitwasyon mo. Two thousand seven, a year after giving birth, Josie made her Sea Games debut in the Thailand Games. She wasn't just the youngest boxer on the national team. Being derailed meant she had something to prove. Unang Sea Games, sobrang pressure kasi lahat ng mga kasama ko pitirano na parang lahat sila may mga achievements na tapos ako lang nung salimpusa tawa sa ako nung pinakabata ng time na yon. Hindi pa ako ganon ka bihasa sa mga tournament. Tapos, natalo ako sa Vietnam. Tapos, nagkaroon pa ako ng black eye. <laughs> the Philippines won 15 medals in the boxing competition, but Josie came home empty-handed. Bawat pagkatalo mo naman talaga, may lesson na makukuha ka. Ako lang nung walang medal, parang sabi ko, kailangan mas mag-strive pa ako na mag-improve. Gusto ko sana sa susunod, ganito na nung makuha ko, sana magka-medal na ako. Kailangan ko pag-insayuan, pagtrabahuan lahat kung gusto ko marating nung narating nila. Inspired by her son, her coaches, and teammates, Josie trained even harder. Two years later, the sacrifices paid off. Josie reigned supreme in the pinweight division of the 2009 Southeast Asian Games. Siyempre po, masaya-masaya po ako noong time na yun. Ang naisip ko, sulit. Sulit lahat ng hirap, lahat ng sakripisyo, lahat ng mga pinagpagura namin, ng mga coaches namin. But the highlight of her long stint with the national team was her historic win in the 2012 AIBA World Championships. Philippines had settled for silver and bronze finishes for years until Josie made a breakthrough in the women's light flyweight division. She overcame five opponents, Venezuela, Turkey, Canada, Russia, and host country China to become the first ever amateur boxer, man or woman, to win the world championship while representing the Philippines. Yung time po na yon, ang nasa utak ko lang noon, maglalaro ako, susundin ko lang yung sinasabi ng mga coaches ko. Kasi sila nung mas nakakakita eh, kung ano nung mga magandang gawin para maipanalo nung laban. So, sawa naman na Diyos, maganda nung naging resulta. At saka alam ko rin naman po na maganda nung preparation namin ng time na yun. Seven years later, Nestle replicated Josie's achievement with the Philippines' second world championship. And as an ate to the younger women on the team, Josie couldn't be happier to see Nestle follow in her footsteps. Para po sa akin, sobrang nakaka-proud. Kasi yun nga nang sinasabi ng mga coaches namin na pag umakit kayo ng ring, hindi lang kayo, buong team ninyo. So nakaka-proud na panibagong world champion na nakapag-uwi ng gold medal, babae na naman. So, sobrang nakaka-proud. <laughs> diba? Hindi kami nagpapahuli. Tuloy-tuloy nung kanyang achievements ng mga babae. Philippines, And Josie Kapuko, 32 years old. 2019 marked Josie's 15th year with the Philippine team. 
He captured the gold with the Asian Boxing Confederation or the ASBC Elite Boxing Championships in Bangkok back in April and then capped off the year with a Southeast Asian Games title, fighting in front of the Filipino crowd. Still a little bit of a cough. That's right, she's still not well. Despite feeling under the weather, Josie showcased her vintage form in front of her kababayan. Winner via unanimous decision and receiving a gold medal for women's line flyweight from the blue corner. And there it is. It is official. And the sign of the cross in thanks to the Lord above, Josie Gabuko, the gold medalist. Nagtuloy-tuloy na. Sawa po ng Diyos, continuous naman ng gold medal. Mawala man ako, at least may maiiwan ako na, uy, si Gabuko, naka five gold medal. Five gold medals. She did that. And this is a complete shutout. Shutout. <laughs> There was never any doubt. Joseph Gabuko was in firm control. <laughs> As we've talked about in previous episodes, the first and most common barrier to many women in sports are gender roles. This idea that some sports are for men and some are the domain of women. May mga time po talaga na nagkakaroon ng mga ganun na, Hello, panlalaki lang naman yung boxing. May babae na pala. Hindi pa kasi ganun ka-aware ng mga tao na meron ng boxing na babae. So, kapag nakakarinig ng ganyan, pag mismo sa amin sinabi, Siyempre sasabihin, ay matagal na po. Marami na rin pong naiambag ang mga boksingerang babae dito sa Pilipinas. Josie's dream for the next generation of boxers? Start them young. Sana po dagdagan ng slot namin. At saka sana po nung sa mga grassroots, sana dun pala sa mga probinsya, mabigyan na sila ng idea about sa boxing na babae. Para mas maraming nagpa-participate, mas maraming pagpipilian, mas marami nung chance sana po nung sa school-school pa lang, meron ng nag-assist sa kanila at kahit pa paano, merong programa talaga na magsusuporta mga pangailangan nila, kahit mga basic lang. She hopes for better financial support for our national athletes, especially for women, who shouldn't have to choose between pursuing their sport and raising a family. Kung for example, ang sinasahod mo lang sa national team, 11,000 or 12,000, tapos may tatlo kang anak. Saan mo kukunin ng panggasos mo sa mga anak mo, pampaaral, pampakain? So kung bibigyan nila ng additional na suporta para dun sa mga ina, may magandang programa po yan. Especially sa mga single mother. Kumbaga po, hindi sila basta-basta na mag-iisip na tutuloy ko pa ba ito eh, ganito na ang kinikita ko. There's still a long way to go when it comes to accepting that female boxers are capable of excelling in this male-dominated sport. But thanks to Josie Gabuco, Nesli Petesho, and the rest of our world-class Pinay boxers, we are moving forward. Kung ngayon po talaga titignan, mas marami ng taong tanggap kung ano nung ginagawa namin. Mas marami na nakakaalam about sa women's boxing. Nakikita na rin ang ibang tao na Ah, marami pa palang kayang gawin ng mga babae. Ah, kaya rin pala nila makipagsabayan sa ibang bansa. Kaya nilang magbigay ng karangalan sa bansa. Ng mga After setting records, Respeto. breaking barriers, and blazing a trail for younger boxers, Josie's got nothing left to prove. But she still got a lot of fight left in her. Sa ngayon po, hindi pa po ako dumarating sa point na gusto kong mag-retire. As long na kaya pa siguro ng katawan ko, go pa ako. Lahat ginagawa ko pa rin. Kaya lang, yun nga po, mas madali na ako magka-injury ngayon compare sa dati. Pero sa akin kasi ang iniisip ko, pag hindi ko nagawa nung ginagawa nila, parang lugi ako. So, ginagawa ko lahat ng panang training para pagdating ng kwan, wala akong regret. Ginawa ko naman lahat, matalo manalo, at least wala akong pinagsisisihan sa sarili ko. Josie set out with a simple dream, to have a better life and put food on the table but got more than what she signed up for. Sobrang thankful po ako na nakapasok ako dito sa boxing kasi unang-una, kahit pa paano, nakatulong ako sa pamilya ko. Ang totoo, ang gusto ko lang talaga noon, mabigyan ko ng bahay ng mama ko. Pero ngayon, sa awa ng Diyos, dahil sa boxing, natulungan ko ng mga kapatid ko na financial, malaking tulong po talaga. She took on a challenge that could have ended her career. 
and came out stronger for the struggle. Lalo na ako, hindi naman ako nakapagtapos ng pag-aaral. Pero at least kahit pa paano, naibibigay ko ng mga pangangailangan ng anak ko. Her biggest triumphs came not when life was simpler, but when her journey took an unexpected turn. She fought her way back into the ring. She fought her way to the top. Unang-una po lumalaban po ako, syempre, para sa anak ko. Tapos po, uh, sa family ko, dito para sa Ava family, sa coaches, sa mga co-boxers ko po. And syempre, sa mga taong naniniwala sa amin, lalo na nung sambayan ng Pilipino. More than an athlete, more than a mother. Josie Gabuco did it all. I'm Bella Perez Rubio. This episode was hosted and co written by Siege Tantanko. It was produced and co written by Charmy Lee Singh, with the assistance of Hallie Fernando. It was also edited by Nina Toralba and Pedoy Blanco of Puma Podcast. If you want to hear more from Filipina athletes, check out Go Hard Girls wherever you get your podcasts. Thanks for listening. 